Tifa has released her debut album. Sweet, so sweet. Just returned from a stint in the US, jack, jack, jack it up. heading for another in Europe, and is still talking retirement. Why? Why, Tifa? Tifa will be here to tell us. Will there be a revival of Sting this December? The arrival of a number of new acts in dancehall this year appears to have brought about a shake-up that may be advantageous to stage show promoters, for there are several crowd-pulling names to draw from. Sting's MC Nuffy will be here to break it all down for us. Our Redeemer saving grace. When Marshall's Glory to God is now a movie, a movie that will be exclusively premiered on our stage. And speaking of movie, supporting act Chantel Jackson in Yardi. Can't have this nonsense around me. The latest Jamaican full-length film talks movie, her character, and her career. And who is Alex A. Gay? Alex will be here to tell us. All coming up. Welcome to our show, everyone. I'm Winford Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Yardi, the latest Jamaican full-length film is a story of reprisal. The grief. It never left you. Love and power. Hey, that just had a private screening in Jamaica. <laughs> After its general release in the UK market. First time in London, true? Yeah, man, first time. Adopted from the 1992 best-selling novel of the same name, Yardi, for which Idris Elba makes his debut. I sent you to London so you wouldn't start a war in Kingston. As a director, has among its cast one of Jamaica's rising stars, Chantal Jackson. Can't have this nonsense around me. And she is right now, right here on our stage. Chantal. Hello. So good to have you. Thank you for having me. Oh, wow. Uh, so, private showing in Jamaica, released in the UK. How do you feel about this now? Um, to be honest, I'm just extremely overwhelmed. You know, I saw it. In London, of course, I saw it at Sundance before, but I was extremely excited and nervous yes. to see it in Jamaica with the Jamaican audience because I think Jamaicans are the most critical oh. people, especially of ourselves, you know, seeing ourselves on screen and seeing ourselves being represented, mm -hmm. our culture being represented on screen. We want it to be as authentic as possible. And um, so I was extremely nervous about that. But based on the response, it's been great. You know, we're just happy to have an international film coming out of Jamaica. So what are people saying about it so far, in Jamaica, that is? Uh, well, most people are saying what I've been saying, which is it's a love story. You know, it's, the, it's a gangster film, which we are, is what we're accustomed to seeing on screen out of Jamaica. But it's also a love story. Idris was able to humanize the characters. And he also wanted the film, as I said to, before, to be as authentic as possible. So we're not just seeing the zinc fence and the gunshots and all of that. You're seeing a, the beautiful landscape of Jamaica. Jamaica in the 70s and 80s, you know, people in the streets doing dancing. And it was just very pretty to see how Jamaica was captured. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people appreciated that, especially the persons who worked on the project, being given the opportunity to shoot a different side of Jamaica than what we're accustomed to seeing on screen. How did he get involved, DJs? Uh, I think he wanted to do the book for years now, uh, from about probably 2015 or before that. He read the book as a youth in London, okay. and you know he got the opportunity to direct his first film, and he chose the book Yardi to be his first, oh. you know, his directorial debut. And yes. of course, Jamaica and the culture is a big part of Yardi. And so, of course, he came to Jamaica, approached the film commission here, and, you know, they just ran with it. Okay, wonderful. And the, the, the reviews from the UK so far? The reviews from, from the UK, from the screening, the, um, the release uh, Friday the 31st, I believe, it's been overwhelming. You know, people 
we don't use, it's, it's more of a history lesson to me. I wasn't born in that time. And so a lot of people, especially the older people from Hackney in London, mm -hmm. seeing them and their culture being represented on screen. Also, I didn't realize how important it was to the Londoners to see black mm -hmm. leads in a film. You know, so that's what a lot of people were excited about. You know, I've done a, quite a few interviews and most of the females especially were just excited that there, there was a lead black female alongside a lead black male, you know, um, the diversity of the film. So people are really excited about that. You feel like, you know, we're kind of changing the narrative in terms of film. Okay. All right. So let's talk about you now, Sean. <laughs> your character. Talk about your character. I play Yvonne Beckford in Yardi, and my character is the baby mother girlfriend um, of the lead, D, played by Amel Amin. And we've been childhood lovers. Mm -hmm. You know, I eventually migrate to Living, London. Oh, my, born in Jamaica. Born in Jamaica. Both of you. Both of us born in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I eventually migrate to London. You know, my grandmother thought it was a bit to get a better life. Okay. you know, for work, mm -hmm. uh, what we're accustomed to um, back then. And D. Amel, he ends up in some trouble in Jamaica. He witnesses the death of his brother first okay. at the age of 13. And he just kind of goes throughout life trying to avenge his brother's death continuously. And so he ends up in trouble in Jamaica, of course, and was forced to go to London, where he meets, well, reunites with me, Ivan, and sees his young daughter, Vanessa, for the first time. And so he's there now trying to decide if he's going to stick with his beautiful family that he's now reuniting with, or he's still going to try and avenge his brother's death after finding out that the person who killed his brother is actually in London. So it's really, to me, a story about love and trauma and um, you know, trying to get redemption mm -hmm. from, you know, death or, or, or um, experiencing loss and choosing the right path. I mean, the tagline for the film is, which path will you choose? So it's, is it, is it, um, it's, it's drama, right? It's, a, it's, it's, it's drama. It's, yeah. Isn't it? The classification. Yes, drama. OK, your acting career. Mm -hmm. Sum it up for us. How did it start? I and, started. And where is it now? What are some of the, the other achievements? I started acting in high school, art in high school, in the drama club with Susan Beadle. And right out of high school, I started to do commercial theater mm -hmm. with Delia Harris. So I've been doing commercial theater. I'm a theater actress first. And then in 2016, I did my first feature, Sprinter, which was at ABFF in Miami this year. We caught three out of the five awards. And following Sprinter, I did a short film, Sugar, which was part of the Propeller Films. Um, for 2016, and then in 2017, I auditioned for Yardi, and Idris came to Jamaica with Amel and requested a meeting personally, and we did an audition again, and that's how I got the role, yeah. after screaming in his ear. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so right now, I'm actually promoting both Yardi and Sprinter. Sprinter is going to Trinidad this weekend, and the Bahamas later down in the year. And I'm pretty much focusing on those two. There are other things happening that I can't really talk about right now. Oh, yes. Um, I was about to ask you about that. Yeah, there are other things happening that I can't really talk about right now. But my career has been very steady, to be honest, and I'm very grateful. I was the Prime Minister's Youth Awardee in Arts and Culture yes, last year. Congrats on that. I remember that. Thank yes. you. And so it's been pretty consistent. I have very grounded people around me, which I'm grateful for. And I have an amazing team of managers, agents, and Idris also is a very big part of, he wants to be a very big part of my career, mm -hmm. um, being so young and entering the industry. And so it's been very steady and I'm sure it will continue to be that way. And everything that comes up, you will definitely know about uh, You can ask for a bigger, <laughs> more important mentor. Right. Wow. That's huge. You must be anticipating some impact on your career from this film. Mm -hmm. You've seen it, so what's your anticipation? I mean, it's already impacting me, to be honest. I was in London. I should have been in London for just one week. I ended up staying for two weeks because I had meetings, 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 oh. um, like casting directors. Everybody wants to meet. The, because, you know, I think initially people, when you're doing films, they want someone who is already known because they feel that that person can sell the film, but also a new, refreshing face 
um, can also sell a film. So people are excited about who is this new girl that's in Idris's film. And I'm different. I'm, I'm Caribbean. You know, I'm Jamaican and I em embrace my culture and authenticity. So people are excited about the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has done a lot of things. I've met a lot of people. Um, quite a few things are lining up um, internationally to work internationally, the possibility of moving to work oh. overseas. So it's just a matter of deciding which path <laughs> I'm going to choose, as the film says. Wow. Well, I am happy to have you. Thank you so much. I suspect that it will be a, a task in the future, mm. quite a task to get a moment with it's you a... on our stage. No! In the very near future. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that's all good. <laughs> we will cheer you on and love you from a distance. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to my little time when I go and watch the movie. I'm going to watch it. Mm -hmm. No matter what, now go. <laughs> OK? Stay with us, still to come right here on stage. Glory to God, the movie. And later, Tifa, the diva. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. My guest in this segment is an Edna Manley College dropout whose passion for music is such that, according to him, it's just a matter of time before he finds his own place in the biz. Every day we live in is another chance. Could this track double, double, double my grain. that he brings to our stage give him the breakout moment? His parents named him Alex Gallimore. But he wants you to call him Alex A. Gain. Wow. Alex, sir. No respect. Bless it. Yeah, no Welcome. Respect. Why do you want to be called A. Gain? Well, first and foremost, as me always say, A. Game, no play game. But the interesting thing about the name is, as I said, my parents name Alex Gallimore. I yes. actually remix the name. And that's why I get Alex A. Game. My name is Alex Anthony Gallimore. So it's Alex. I add an X to the Alex and the A. And then Gallimore takes some letters out of the Gallimore, turn it in a game, Alex A game. I'm going to play a game. <laughs> okay. Real and true. <laughs> All right, so why, why, why did you leave college? Were you kicked out or you walked out? No, I wasn't kicked out because of my, 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 my final semester, my do. well, the final semester, but the last semester I do there, it was a straight A thing. You know, I did a whole heap of courses them time, but what happened is that, you know, my find say, what I did go to college for at the time after I left high school was for the music. But they just want the music. They want the musical environment and them things. That's what I go for. I never go for a degree. You know, not that I don't want a degree, but I never went there for a degree. You understand? So the moment that I found what I went for and find that I got work for me, I just never feel the need to chase after something I never go for. At what stage? What was left in the. Well, at the, at the stage, well, I did that second year at the time, but at the same time, you know, I start I get into the band, the blueprint band at the time. We enter the global battle of the bands and then we did win. Okay. And things. So things start to happen from this. So we start to on the road and you know, things start to get a whole bit more hectic. And you know, I just find at the time for me to start to focus on what I really want to do with my life. That was from 2012. Yeah. So you've been out there for a little bit, A game? Well, as, as A game, it's just been since 2014, really. You know, them okay. times I play instruments. You know, them so times I me, me just play instruments. Wh and I, what, what, what do you play? Bass. Bass yeah. at, was my major at the time. You know, so that's what I used to play on the band. I used to sing on the band as well. Okay, so your track, there's a track queued up for you. Yes. Banking on this one for the break? Well, for, the, for, the, for this for the track. For the breakout? I, for this track, it definitely I got to do greatness in terms of like tracks I have out there already, which is I Know and Go Harder. This track now, double with tour lanes. I feel like I don't want to make people start notice Alex A game. Let's drop it. So me I go double, double, double my grind. Double up the hours when me up on a time. Double work, I got double my shine. Double that again, I multiply by nine. Double words, double line, double rhyme. Try to eat in a double time. Live life brave and me never think twice about that. Come in now have a double mind. Me want to put her into poverty with a double bar line. Make mama live longer, double her prime. Double man shine up on the hill, I send down. Fat 
Rolls rules rice with the double R sign Want find a double platinum hit song Double million US record deal me want mine Lace up boot, double edge sword pan side Double trouble war time, every ghetto youth want a Fat black bimmer with the double X sauce Doubles you a year when you see it a rev pass Double dark tin pan glass, make them talk mm, Make them talk them get the message cause we know it's in top When you see the double tick you know it's in that Yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as you me used to hustle in high street for this They pound me teeth and sh** Queen Latifah wrist Big head reef for spliff She want for smoke and live life She need a bigger spliff Me spend my whole life trying to get legitimate Now big car and fat bends we are pull through Now bother with the one girl me I pull two My half a tell it get to you them for pull through Now bother with the bad man you fit do it We go hard and done. Mm. Alex, a game. Real and true. That's the track. Anybody have played it yet? Well, it, the track is, is pretty much it new. Brand yes. new, brand new, brand new. Of course, it's a play on the radio so far, you know. We, we get a good we get good features so far from it, like Source Magazine wrote about it. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, some great features, you know. A whole heap, whole heap to mention in terms of like, you know, mainstream recognition and also locally, you know, a lot more DJs start to come on board you now and realize, say, yo, you know, this looks serious. You understand? The media, <laughs> more media start coming on board and say, this looks serious. <laughs> so, so that one, as, as I'm say, that one look like it will wake them up now. Okay. You know, so yeah. So, um, the Tory Lane's side of it, part of it, the, co- yeah. the collab, how did it come about? Well, first and foremost, you know, it's a song of the, the moment I write the song, like years ago, I write the song. Mm. And it's like me, I say, yo, after I record the song, I say, yo, Tory Lane's with a sound sick on this. I talk about from before, Tory Lane's even big. Boss and getting me. Because I listen to Tory Lanez from a mixtape days, you know. My bridging, my theme bridging, hear it. And he linked my bridging and say, yo, you know what that sounds sick on this Tory Lanez? So, right, that's why it connect. He said, I said, for real? Mm. And he said, yo, you know, so I might have a link. And he said, all right, I'll make the link and so I can go on. And then you are going now. And like, in a dance hall and reggae right now with them egotistic crab in a barrel, we have this post-colonial mentality We are mash up the business right now. And I saw them people are still over the side there. They understand business and them, them have vision. So, I hear the track, love the track, and then we just can it up and make it happen. Mm. Real and true. That's how you feel about the local space? Yeah, 95% of the, the established artists in Jamaica right now is some egotistic crab in a barrel. And as I say, I'll say it again, we have a, how I see it, the best way to put it is we just have a post-colonial mentality where still a ravish the business right now, obviously. Okay. In a real life. So you find it easier to get support from the US, from, from North America, from hip hop? I wouldn't say easier to get support because the media and the Jamaica support me a lot. Okay. You know, me up on stage right now. I get support from the media and I get support from the DJs. I can't complain about that. You know, because right now I have two songs in the core, I know and go harder. We're really and truly I work the streets hard now. It a, it a play on the radio every day. You know, as I said, this track now, double, I pull through them song the big time. Big, sure. big time. So, yes. that well, one. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the rest to the future. You, as a drop out at Edna, you did learn something before you drop out, clearly. And, yeah, one and two and things. And so huh? you will have a lot to say about the biz. So you would have learned about the business of music. Yeah. And uh, perhaps that's why you were saying what you're saying. Um, but we're going to leave the rest until then and watch yeah. your music and see where it takes you and see how you knowing as much as you do and, and this, the love and, and so on that you're getting for this song and so on and see yeah. what it takes you and when next you come back hopefully we can report a progress and an ascension yeah real soon at that time very soon and you're very confident about just about everything good confident my friend I hope you'll transformed into yeah, yeah definitely big achievements most definitely blessed love no for Alex. Sure, win fun. blessed yeah, love man up, what up. good year sir real and true you too all right so still to come right here on our stage is there a sting 2018 Sting MC Nuffy will be on our stage and later. Lord, I pray. Glory to God, the movie. And later. Sweet, so sweet. Tifa, 
The Diva. Oh God. Yeah, we are God, we are God. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. The arrival of a number of new acts in dance hall this year appears to be finally staffing the long-standing void that had persisted in the space since the mid-2000s. That of not enough names for promoters to draw from in promoting live shows. But now, in addition to ascending names like Alkaline, Idonia, Popcorn, Massacre, Tommy Lee, Dexter Daps, and others, dancehall fans now have new arrivals such as Reagan King, Governor, Dovey Magnum, and more, piquing fans' interest and curiosity. This begs the question, what will the last quarter of 2018 in dancehall look like in terms of recordings, live performances, etc.? What if there were a sting? What would that lineup look like? How about other shows like GT Extravaganza? Sting's MC Nuffy is here to break it all down, believe it or not. No. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Blessed love, sir. Blessed. When you see me, because I know from where the uh, threads I deal with, it's just uh, Mr. Paznak. That's my new thread line, you know, my clothes line, you know. Mr. Paznak. Paznak luxury, you know. From shoes to, to, to jacket? Yeah, from shoes all to jacket. Paznak. Paznak. Yeah. All right, sir. So, okay. So, all right. So, the, 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 the thing with um, Reagan King at Sunfest is resolved, right? Because he came and said, I do your job, him, I do him job. No, 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 no little thing not fest about No, we don't we have nothing, and, and, and me and him have the problem. Yes. You know, it was, it's just, he's doing stagecraft, he's doing job. Yes. Just as why I did that. So, you job. agree with that? Me, me yeah. not have a problem okay. with the air. So, what do you think of him? What's your views on, on, on Reagan King? Bad artist. Lyrical inclined. Mm -hmm. Trust me. So, is there a shake-up in dance art, you think? As, of as a result of his coming and others who have come in the space in re since this year? It shake up the whole thing? Yeah, the reshuffling? It's a reshuffling, man. Of Space Wharton. Yes. Space Wharton, yeah, you know, you see, the, because, as I said, decades past, you know, the people must see the same artists, the bigger artists, them over and over, the giant, them, the icon, them, the legend, them. People must see them over and over, over and over. So, so, the, so the summer, in particular, yes. this, this summer, is when it peaked, yeah, the reshuffling. It peaked, the reshuffling. So, so what we have now is a new order going forward. New order, because when you look, we, you know that the man in a sun face say, we're right in King of the Right this and TJ. Mm -hmm. We're the right this, you know, you have Tamil him, 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 him graduate, you know. Yes. So we're right in King and TJ are the right this and that's second to last and third to last. A closer event like that. That's what sure you say, it's shuffle. Yes. And women too, aren't women in the shuffle too? Of course. Yeah, we, we see a lot of women in the in the shuffle, but you know, um, some of them kind of need a type MC like me for them because some of, some of these new entertainers, you know, mm. they need a type MC like me where can go around there, know what they're going to perform, know what they're going to say, because I and I read the crowd. The intro is the, important. The intro is important. I intro you according to your career. So that, let me ask you, will there be Sting 2018? Yes, so I laugh. Mm. The boss. Say so tell the world, say sí. there will be a sting. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You hear me say? The general, say so tell the Isaiah world. Isaiah Lang is announcing. Okay. Right here on stage, the world is just knowing right now. The world, I know. There will be a there sting be 2018. A, yes. As a result of how, of what we're speculating that I'm, there are. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, to me, I'm kind of glad sting get back a, a push back like our two to three. You know, it not keep right. Yes. I think so. For three years. You know, right now people in you know, a eager everywhere we walk are everywhere. So well, we go. Uh, let, me tell you, say, let me say to, to our viewers that I knew not of any mm -hmm. plans to have a sting 2018. <laughs> me don't surprise you. So you're surprising me because yeah. the, the, my prelude is mm -hmm. really based on what we're seeing. I yeah. mean, you know, we call it as we see it. Mm -hmm. And it's our view from where we sit on stage, that is, yeah. that we are saying what we're saying. No, you're saying that they're, they're actually, because I'm saying, what if? I don't know that there could be a, a sting this year. And you're saying yes? No, fee? you serious? Don't look on my face, look at me a joke. A serious thing, may I tell you? Mr. Isaiah Leng, the boss said there will be a 2018 sting. Yeah, because part of the problem in the past was because there weren't enough artists to, 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 to staff the show, so yes, to speak, yes, in terms yes. of lineup. For real. 
No way of, no way of strong, make me see it. Strong lineup. Rather receive the general even drop a, drop in uh, drop in December. The general. Yeah, the general. Talking about the, the banter. Butch Bantan and Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel. Okay, 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 sir. I know, I'm just kidding. No, no. I know what you're talking about. No. Cartel, because you're all over the internet saying it. Yeah. But, but um, you expect him in December? What do you mean? Yeah, we have some man. We have a bit of a general. Mm. We have some man, Adam and Daddy. How are you deal with, man? Come on, road, Daddy. Well, that would be something, isn't it? And he would that sting if him come out? Oh, you mean him not afraid? He's a showman. Vibes Cartel is a showman, just as Bojo. Why a sting would that keep? And them no one put them present right there and they know, say, this is Jamaica, we please the people. So people miss sting a lot. Of course. Nothing. Of course. May I tell you? They are pressure is that if sting. They are pressure him, they are pressure me, they are pressure everybody. Run your lineup for me. Give me a lineup. Separate and apart, you don't know, say, Bojo Bantan and Vibes Cartel. You know them are the general for the Then when should I stop this up? Yeah. Where is no, that? Me, 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 you don't need nobody else. But Dexter, Popcorn, Tommy Lee, Jamil, Rygin King, TJ, Governor, Idona, Massacre, Massacre, Shensia. Shensia, yeah. You understand? And you know, I'm not about nothing. I'm not bring my little clarity. So I'm not about nothing. I'm not about nothing. I'm not about nothing. Frasil and Maestro. You know, that's what we do. We do not change. Of course, you do. Yes, you do. Know, you know. Somebody okay. has to bust. But that, the line up, though, let me tell you. Yeah, man. That's strong. That's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a girl name. If I go bring in foreigners, go yes. in. I go bring in a youth name. Safari. Yeah, Steph Bridget. London. Yeah. Steph London. Yeah, the, the girls, them like Safari. Steph London. Steph London. Bad girl. Lyrical. Oh, yes. You understand? She's blazing. Yeah. Hip hop and dance all at the same time. Mm -hmm. What about Dovey? Dovey Magnum. Dovey Magnum, another good artist. You understand? So how possible is, is that lineup? And again, we take out Bujo and Cartel out a bit, little bit. That's the lineup. That, the, the lineup. The lineup. You want? That is the real lineup that may be on Sting this year. Then you say? All of them you do me a call of them a fire. Everybody write this. But one. would I, is Isaiah able to get them to come on the show? Will yes. you be able to get them on? Yes. Because some of them are asking for the show. When they say, enough, you want to the big show. So warm to artists like I Octane, Conscience. Yeah. All right, let me tell you. Oh, Busy Signal. It, it, that's the name I me, me forgot to call. Busy Signal. I, I don't want no artists feel like you try to put them down or disrespect them, disrespect them in a no way. I would have considered Conscience. Mm -hmm. You understand? But you have a time. Same thing where we are talking about timing. Because you can't do over your if thing I come, you have to come with the thing where the people them want. No. So you you're uh, benching the icons. Sizzler, <laughs> Sizzler Colonia, <laughs> Bounty, Beanie, what Tableton. Those the icons are on the bench. No, me not, me not. listen me, me icons. <laughs> Respect to no. Respect to Beanie man, Bounty Killer, Sizzler, Capitan. But yeah. there is a but. You, at this time where thing need. Sting it have to do that them youth here and then don't come back for one one or two of them the other year. Mm. You know what I mean? Me now put my general in panel bench. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but so. Buju a general too. No, all the man. And cartel. I yeah. respect my icons them. I respect them, but you can't call them in another lineup here at this moment. You have to draw for them one another year, two of them in another year. But you see them youth what me just call. Well, whatever, sir. I Yeah. Uh, whatever happened, yeah. I hope there will be a sting. I'm going to want to get me a bench, my general. For the dancers. I bench them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but sting is on people. And the young guns, them. You know what I mean? All right, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Well, there you have it. News, news flashing on stage, and we knew not that this news was going to come our way. I'm, so. I'm going to cut you know. I want to set a train, you know. Hmm. Listen to me. Nothing I do 20 years in my business and many need justice from radio player and selectors. I see Bounty Killer talk up something and disrespect a bag of people. I want, I know I want to move away from those things. You know what I mean? And nobody vexed with Bounty Killer. But we are in the same job and we are doing the same thing. Bounty Killer, a boss artist, nothing a boss artist. You know what I mean? Radio man, please give me justice. Never new artist named Frasil. I try to bust out a road. Please, may I be going to justice? All I read the station will blacklist me. Please. Open the door back for nothing. 
You understand? Me a general in my business. Me put food on enough table, just like anybody else. Please. Me have me artist a boss named Frasil. Open the door. My pocket I get weak down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nothing as usual. Nothing. <laughs> this, this is why he's called Nothing. Okay. All right. Stay with us right here on stage. Next, Tifa. The diva, why is she retiring? Beer party, dance industry. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. <laughs> when Marshall's Glory to God hit single is one of the biggest local mainstream songs in recent memory. You will recall Marshall and Company's live performance of the song right here on our stage going viral. Now we give you the exclusive world premiere of the movie, Glory to God. Hey mom, how are you doing? Inviting you to our church service this Sunday okay. evening. All right, bless you. Sister Louis, so on in. Oh, hi young man, we have a church service this Sunday evening. Let me see blessings, General. I'm not come. Boy, rough a road, boy. My friend of our house have some money for me. I mean, the ad was to go Stop for you. Stop talking about your friend. I get the money. Jeez, I have the money, Emily. All right, I'm going to feed you. I'm fine. Yeah. Fantastic. Show them that coach. Show them.
I can get a bigger camera, baby, go for Boston. Please, I'm going to go for the money. 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 You come late, it don't work. People complain, and every job you do, the people them come back. What more you yeah, expect? Yeah, but what You know how much big chunk me fix for you? Yeah, but everybody come back, complain, say don't do no proper work. Three grand, what do you... I'm coming here drunk every morning, leave, man. I said, we about. You're lucky you even get that. Today's the last day. I'm not putting up with it anymore. You're fired. Leave. Worthless and waste of time and energy. You're lucky you get that. All powerful, omnipotent Shine down your glory, your magnificence When you build the fence, it make all the difference Step in on my life and take precedence Be the captain, the pilot, the teacher Be the head and the boss and the leader Be my guide, my shepherd and my keeper Beginning and the end, you are the Alpha Omega Lord, I pray I honor your name your mercy whenever I fall you lift me up glory to be oh God You remember brother Kevin? You know, see a hospital I just come from. Then I shoot, they shoot, they shoot the brother Kevin, you know? Where is it? Where is it there? You're not hungry. The plate empty. Go fill it. Please. Me don't want here now. Now tell me so you take the money where you work, bye. Wait, wait, no. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, listen, where is that? Where is it? 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 Where
I forgive you. Why are you talking to daddy? So that young man over there is him shooting me. What? No, come, come. Take daddy home. Just take him home. I'm not feeling well. Take him home. Take him home. Just start the car. Take him home. Oh, oh. <sighs>
All right, there you have it. Glory to God, the movie. Well, you know what to do, make it viral. Like the song. What a way, what a way. And uh, still to come right here on stage, uh, Tifa has just uh, released her debut album. Just came back from a stint in the US, is heading for another in Europe, and is still talking retirement. Tifa will be here to answer that. Everything just right, just nice. Jamaica are the place for you enjoy your life. Nicer. Jamaica just nicer. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Tifa has recently released her debut album, Curry Goat and Champagne. What a way, what a way. Just came back from a stint in the US, is heading for another in Europe, and is still talking about retirement. Why? <laughs> Why? Defense on our stage, though. let her answer that. <laughs> Tiff, welcome. Thanks for having me. In. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Congrats, though. Congrats on the album. Thank you. Um, I, I, soon, I soon get back to it. But why? Why are you? Are you still talking about retirement? We'll see. I mean, I have certain contractual obligations that I have to finish out, and then we'll see when, when that ends. What happens? The contracts are still running. Yes. Not to mention the tremendous body of work and, and, um, and accolades that you've earned over the years. Yeah. I'm tired. You're tired? I'm, I'm honestly tired. Um, I want to start a family. Um, the business is not what it used to be. It's, it has become very nasty. Mm -hmm. Very, very nasty. But I mean, any, anything where there's a, there's a large amount of money involved and fame involved, it's going to happen. But it's just, it's just gotten out of hand and ridiculous. Speaking of which, the, the summer, this summer thing, this summer... Song, song. <laughs> mm -hmm. saga, if, if I can call it that. Yeah. What was that about? Um, you people are saying there are no summer songs. Um, I noted that on Twitter, especially, a lot of DJs were saying that there's no summer song. Yes. You know what I mean? All of the songs that were allegedly hot were from either up in the year or the year before. Okay. So I'm like, but I released a summer song, an actual summer song. Um, but nobody's talking about it because usually what, what gets paid mind for a female is dash out and wind up and big bump and mm -hmm. excitement and mix up. So I'm like, but I dropped a summer song. Mm -hmm. Some people liked what I had to say. Some people did not like what I had to say. Either way, it no matter Winford because we are on... So it's, it was you versus the DJs? The, DJs was, or it, people it in general? The DJs, it's just the, the Twitter trolls or whatever, Instagram trolls. But as I say, it don't matter because it is still an A-list reggae up to now. It's okay. selling. And I'm there with Bob Marley and Popcorn and them friends on iTunes. So I don't really care at this point. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a huge song overseas. We've entered like three major stations in the US. Um, if you look at my Instagram, I performed at a, um, a festival, a major festival on Sunday in Canada. And everybody's like, JA party, JA party. I guess people overseas appreciate Jamaica more than we do. So. And isn't it one of the tracks on the album? Yes, it is. Let's take the J party right here. No, I feel a legacy and Sunday. In a bikini bra and panty. Pop the cool up as my some liquor. More and nice time in a macaroni. Me and my friend them are going so naughty. Vibes right in a disabish party. My back been a me a bubble for the man. Coming out all I'm in a rich party. Man trying just a power with the artist. Black in the Chinese and white. No Jamaica have the right energy. Nothing else. Nice like a J.A. party I wanna sing to it So sweet No place to me Like ya Sweet so sweet, no other place to be but a Jamaican party. Definitely. <laughs> wow, Tim, what a song. So, I went to them. What do you mean this is not a summer song? Not, not a summer song. I don't I even know some what guys. they're talking. No, I mean, as I say, you do have people that control the media somewhat, well, control social media somewhat, mm. and a lot of the social media entities are bought, and there are a lot of trolls that are bought, mm. and there are people that are set to say certain things and set to do certain things. So, 
I wasn't really paying it any mind. I did what I said to do, which was gain attention for the song. And I did just that. Everybody started talking about this J.A. party song, whether they liked it or not. Yeah. I was just at home one day, and I, and I saw somebody tweet, and I was just like, okay, let me throw a fake tantrum just for the, just for the joke of it. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody bought into it. Newspaper, everybody bought into you it. You like, it. <laughs> everybody bought into it. And we didn't. <laughs> we yeah, didn't. Like, know, I mean, I don't know better, but I mean, at least everybody now knows what J.A. Uh, party is and okay. what, what, what the summer song that everybody was arguing about. And uh, it, I really and truly the song came from a place where I was away in January mm -hmm. in New York. It was snowing like crazy. And I said to myself, they had state of emergency. Mm -hmm. I said to myself, look how people work so hard in the snow and a shovel snow and a minus degree where than just to come home for some sunshine, just to come home for eat some mango, I say, yeah. I'm having this big state of emergency in Montego Bay. I'm, I'm going to show the world that that is not Jamaica mm -hmm. and what Jamaica is really about. We're really about coming together, whether it be a JA party, whether it be when sports are keep, whether it be just overall. Let me show them the beauty of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And that was where the, this, the place from this song came from. So the Curry Goat album is, is really... Um it's really a, a very good product for it you. It is. I mean, a lot of, I've been getting nothing but positive feedback from it. Um, we've been dancing up and down in the top 10 in terms of iTunes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's 18 tracks of just me. As I said, I gave you nine tracks, Kurgo, which mm -hmm. is my Jamaican side. You're okay. getting dancehall and reggae on that side. And then on the champagne side, is nine tracks international. Yes. And those, the internationals are doing well too. Yes, they are. Especially the track with me and Agent Sasko called I'm the Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, all of the songs are doing good. Maybe Love is also doing well. Um, Sly and Rabbit Track is also doing well in terms of sales. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about what's going on. Oh, okay. So that's just what <laughs> I thought. And so that stinked in the US. Talk about it. I, I suspect it's the promotional or? Um, it's both. Um, we had an album release party in Atlanta. Um, it was hosted by DJ Cash. Yes. He's one of the big DJs, one of the biggest DJs in Atlanta. He produced the track called Maybe Love on my album. Mm -hmm. So we had a big album release party there at. Um, what's called Girl Farm Thursdays mm. and then we had another album release in Orlando um, album release slash show in Orlando and then we did all of the big um, Labor Day weekend shows Hot 97 on the reggae tip mm -hmm. um, DJ Norris Anything Goes from Power 105 and then I left and went to Canada and we did the big two day festival JA Summer Fest so yeah Oh, wow. we're, we're working. Busy. Yeah, and then I'm off Monday to Europe. Yes, yes. talk about that Europe now. Um, yes. Europe, it's actually a cruise from the mm -hmm. 13th to the 15th um, in, in Sweden. It's called One Love Cruise. So I'm excited about that. Oh, wow. I'm the only One Jam Love Cruise. I'm the only Jamaican on it and a big European act. So I'm really, really excited. So it's a Jamaican it. reggae so it's cruise? It's actually a Swedish cruise. And they've invited Swedish me. music. Yeah, they've invited me as, the, as a Jamaican to come and perform on their cruise. They want a Jamaican in the mix? Yes. And that's you? Yes, sir. You're the only one? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Congrats. Thank you. Do you have a following in, in Sweden? I do have a, a following in Europe. Overall, Europe generally? Yeah. Overall, but I, I think it got a major boost when I did a record earlier this year for Mashup International. Yes. They're a big DJ slash... Kind of oh, like that a, in yeah, Europe. Kind of like a yeah. major is a vibe, but not oh, quite yeah, yeah, over yeah. there. You know what I mean? So yeah, I did quite a, a number of them over there. Uh, I did yeah. a track for them and, you know, it's, it's, it's a big deal, so... Thank you, take from your teeth. It is what it Thank is. Thank you so much, sweetie, for Thanks coming for and sharing me. with us as usual. And we're tracking your big cruise. We, we make about it. We grudge you, but <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself. Thank you. And come back in one piece to all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there you have her right here on our stage, Tifa the Diva. And that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. the pot say so na swing girl a shake them bad day man a bun a fan a be a flossin a de thing be a flossin car that can't rush on money pull up select a get in a man girl de pa a top fee a ten grand we have the video this a one who a missing sweet so sweet no place to me like ya Police free 
up, cause the dance can't stifle. Everything just right, just nice. Jamaica are the place to enjoy your life. Nice.